In this video, we'll talk about 10 questions you should ask yourself. Let's be honest with ourselves. It can be scary when we're thinking of how we end up where we are and feel lost and without purpose. In fact, we risk the chances of being distanced very far from where we desire to be when we're not conscious of where we're going. Self-reflection ensures that you are fulfilled and it can help to keep you in check with your life journey. Thus, there are some important questions you must ask yourself frequently to stay in route of your path. And here they are. Number one. Am I using my time wisely? You don't need anyone to tell you that time is precious. Everyone knows this. No matter how rich or influential you are, you can never buy time. In your life journey, one question you must always ask yourself is whether you're using your time wisely. Because if you perpetually waste your time, you're just wasting your life away. Sorry if that sounds harsh, but it's just the reality. How do you spend your time? What do you do with your time? In this modern day, most of us tend to appear as busy people. But when you ask some people what they use their time for, they'll have nothing tangible to say because they'll just keep stammering, trying to figure out what exactly is consuming their time. For some people, gossiping is what steals their time. And some will even dedicate a lot of hours to cruising and vibing on social media. Yes, it's a good thing to engage in refreshing, relaxing, and rejuvenating activities. But spending too much time on something that's not productive isn't healthy enough. It's also a substantial waste of time when you refuse to take the step to move from working at a place where you're not permitted to provide some sense of value, make use of your skills, and you're not challenged just because the pay is stable. For you to see the aspect in your life that has probably been a waste of time, take time to sit and look at where you are now and imagine yourself in a few years from now. Number two, am I taking anything for granted? Most of us are guilty of taking a lot of things for granted unknowingly. And this is usually because we're always craving more and consequently, we become blind to see and appreciate the blessings that we have. When you reflect on your past misfortunes and not your present blessings, you're likely not to see the plenty which you have. The thing is, we all are often surrounded by numerous blessings which we should take pride in. From eating daily and having a roof over our head to having the support of family or friends, even when it seems like it's about to end, we all enjoy some blessings that our present circumstances tend to shield us from seeing, and it's resulting from the fact that we're naturally forward-looking. So practice gratitude. Be grateful. Look at what you have around you before you complain. Number three, what perspective do I hold? Is it a healthy one or not? Our perspective is very important. And this is so because it's the underlying factor behind being successful, doing what's right, or if we're happy. Do you know that it's possible for you to feel thoroughly empty even if you have the world in your closet? The perspective in which you see things affects a lot of things. And therefore, we must brace ourselves to see issues in a totally different light by listening to an outside outside perspective or stepping back. Some people are so constrained, rigid, and 100% about their perspective that they will never see from another perspective. When possible, learn to adopt new perspectives. Number four, am I living true to myself? Steve Maraboli once mentioned that we're not being true to ourselves if our negligence not to live in alignment is spurred by the several conflicts we have in our lives. If you demystify this saying yourself, you'll realize how weighty it is. Think of it yourself. Are you living the life that you want to live? Do you think you're deceiving yourself or you're not? We must not just let things spiral away. Every now and then, our circumstances and actions must be consciously evaluated. Walk away from anything you're doing that you think may make you regret eventually. Do well to understand the why behind your actions and figure out what you're doing. Number five, how do I wake up in the morning? There are two kinds of people in the world. Those who wake up in the morning feeling lazy and sad, and those who wake up feeling like they're ready for what the day brings. How do you wake up in the morning? One of the massive indicators of how happy you'll be is the first thought you have for the day. It's high time you took action if you don't understand why you don't always want to get out of bed, and you don't like looking forward to what the day brings. Number six, what do I think about before I sleep? Some people, before they sleep, they cram their heads with tons of negative thoughts, while others bask in the euphoria of thinking of positive things. A lot of things about your life are often revealed by your last thoughts before falling asleep because this is when you achieve a measure of clarity as you get unplugged from everything. If the thoughts you have before falling asleep are usually negative, you may want to start addressing the stressors or anything that may be causing them. Number seven, what efforts am I putting into my relationships? Humans are social animals and we need relationships to enjoy living. No one can survive alone on his or her own and therefore we need each other. However, many of us take our relationships for granted and as a result, they suffer deep damage. Right from the start, any relationship that wants to grow demands constant effort. But what happens when all the years of effort get thrown off in a very short time? 
It's very important that you strive to maintain your relationships and you stay dedicated to that so that you don't lose different valuable individuals in your life. Appreciate the people in your life and try to stay connected with your family and loved ones, even if you're away from them. Number eight, am I taking care of myself physically? For you to keep your mind strong and clear, you must find it dutiful to keep your body in good health. This is a popular quote of Buddha, and it expresses the importance of keeping your body in good shape and taking care of your body. As we get older, we're often faced with lots of challenges and an array of responsibilities that often distract us from taking care of our bodies. However, we must be committed to taking care of ourselves because it's very important. Number nine, do I stress myself out with matters that are not in my control? Steve Maraboli once said that many people are often unhealthily attached to the things they cannot control, and therefore they're highly stressed, sick, and miserable. Remember, we once mentioned how precious our time is. Good. One of the biggest ways people waste their time and effort is by bothering themselves over what they can't control. Your mental well-being, health, and days can be ruined when you perpetually let yourself be stressed by things that are not within your realm of control. If you have worries about things that you can't control, work towards eliminating them. Number 10. Am I achieving my set goals? In life, we all have our respective dreams, visions, and aspirations. But due to a lack of self-awareness, we tend to unconsciously throw away our goals. We must learn to account for the how, even as we have our eyes fixed on where and what. For us to achieve our goals, it's pertinent that we break down the steps we must take along the line and examine them closely. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.